All right, let's go. Tempest Trials, Sands of Time. Where are we? This can't be our Arcadia, can it? I agreed. Uh, uh, people have been letting me know. Apparently, she's a mom. You, there's no way you can keep a figure like this once you become a mom. Especially in her day and age. By the way, we never even pointed this out, but you can look at her right hand. That's very pink. This girl... In like this fancy medieval ages is wearing nail polish. We never even noticed that because we were too too stuck looking at how thick she was. Yeah. Anyways, she she's probably wearing lipstick too. Let's be, let's just be frank. No, something is different. Something that reminds me of the past. I agree. What? Why is Luis here? I guess they're the same game. Uh, Luis says I green. Hmm. Lady Louise, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. She's still in her wedding dress. It's been so many months. What the heck? My, how little I green has grown. Wow, that is, that's a spoiler. I did, I know I green is the daughter of Hawkeye and Hawkeye was the same time period of uh, as Louise, but like what? That's insane. I thought you were gonna say I green is the daughter of Hawkeye and Hawkeye. When, when you can bud or you're asexual, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put it past him. He is a perfect human being. <laughs> if only your father, Lord Hawkeye, could see you. I'm sure he would be proud. Th this is this is crazy. But this, by the way, this is what this is the kind of story, Chad, I want to see more of in Heroes. If you can have all the heroes from all these different time frames together, especially when a lot of heroes exist after, you know, their predecessors are literally dead, Having them interact with each other? Imagine how cool it is to interact with your ancestors. Right? Like, it's it's so simple of a concept, but Heroes has been ignoring it for the longest time. It happens sometimes, right? Like, in... Like, the best one forever for me is, in is like, Valentine's. Because that always has, like... Um, the first one was Hector meeting Lona, and that was super cute. But, you know, it was the Hector and the Lona. Uh, it was, like, Hector in his prime and seeing... It, Lona, like, and that was really heart wrenching to read through all that because he says he wishes he was there. Yep. And then, of course, um, Valentine Grail and Valentine Ike, that was pretty touching too. But you get the point. It's just like these magical moments you could put in the story, but they're like dead set on focusing on Alphonse or something. Look, my answer would probably be like racist. What? No, don't say anything racist on stream. <laughs> no, no, I won't. But some of my ancestors would probably be racist. Well, yes. Uh, but I wouldn't hold it against your ancestors because in their time frame, their time period, it was normal. So it's like it's yeah, it wouldn't be were, right. Like, they were mega woke people who weren't racist when it was common to be racist. So I know, but then that makes all your like virtually all your ancestors. I'm pretty sure, like, ex l let me put this for example. If you're a white American, chances are your ancestors are racist. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. You okay, go far enough, it's in it's I'm it's racist. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, th yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep. So, anyways, what 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 is this place, Lady Louise? You look just as you did 20 years ago. Wait, she becomes old and doesn't die. Okay, I didn't know that. As if no time has passed since I met you as a child. Well, your outfit is a little different. Oh, Jesus. Wait a second. This is... This reminds me of... Um, what the fuck racism? This, res this reminds me of, like, Fate Grand Order or just, like, the Fate Say Night system, right? You make a pledge to the Holy Grail and then you get summoned into a time period, but you, you come back in your prime form. But you keep all your memories of you even as you're older. Because it looks like Luis remembers her. Uh, actually, I'm not completely sure now. Maybe it is really Luis from just, like, how she was at that time. Anyways. Well, your outfit is a little different. At least she acknowledges that. If you guys remember in the past Tempest Trials, we had, like, Summer Waltz and Summer Lona talking to Roy. And th nobody talked about the bathing suits. It was so weird. This is called a tempest. 
Here, time and space become tangled and distorted. Rather intriguing, isn't it? Says Pent. Perhaps this is this is the Arcadia of our time, or when we last met. For you, it seems twenty years have passed. So to you, this would be the Arcadia of twenty years ago. Okay, so I'm wrong. The, the, they are these are literally the copies of the the characters when they are at that point in their lives. Twenty years. Indeed, now though I would love to savor this reunion longer, it seems we are short on time. Will you aid us in returning this world to its natural state? Tell me, Argreen, have you been practicing with the bow I gave you? Wait, Luis was the one who- Oh my god, that is touching. Yes, it has been some time. Let me show you just how far I've come. Yeah, let, let, let her- Let let yourself show, show her that you've become the best red archer. Oh wait, you're the only red archer. But one of the best archers, period. But then that doesn't make quite make some sense because we remember in the Valentine prologue we saw Hector and Hector was clearly the young version of him, but he remembered all the older events. Yeah, that's weird. All right, let's go over the heroes. Of course, we have Bronya as the hero. Um, we'll talk about more about her once we get to the five star, but she's very good. I would kind of suggest her to be built by most people. I like her a lot. Next, we have the Defense Res 1. This is really good because it becomes Defense Res 2, which is Defense Res plus 2. Um, you can drop down a lot of defensive heroes and make good use of it, especially tanks, heroes that tank on both defense and res. And the reason why this is really good is because, you know, you have close defense, you have distant defense. So up close or at a distance, you can have plus 6 defense, plus 6 res. But Defense Res 2 is 2 defense, 2 res at all times, at all phases, at all ranges. So that's... A really good seal actually so when you you guys probably have a lot of heroes that you you can't decide whether to put close defense or distant defense on or you have more important heroes to do that and then you can just drop this seal on, on another hero so this is actually a really good defensive seal even if it just looks kind of small at two defense two res there are heroes that can really utilize this for example for example if you have a range hero attacking a dragon they'll target the lower of your defense and res but if you can just increase both then you're fine well they're not fine fine but it, it it's more meaningful uh, there's also a spur attack res 1 this becomes spur attack res 2 which is plus 3 plus 3 very easy to use also very simple seal just drop it on just about anybody is fine finally brunya fim bull uh lancelot can you say this bull yeah i can't pronounce this stuff but it's basically a dune's weapon Grants res plus 3 at start of combat if penalty is active on unit or if unit's HP is less than 100%. There's size penalties on unit and grants attack speed defense res plus 4 during combat. Ultra useful because she cannot be debuffed. If she takes damage, she buffs herself in combat so she can have normal buffs on top of these buffs. And that makes her really useful for things like ether raids, defensively especially. She's basically like Lilina or Sonya in terms of attack or Mei. Uh, Mai? That's like Mei. It's like the direct comparison. She also has Death Blow 3, which is just really easy to use. She's, she, do not use her for Death Blow fodder, though. You got clients for that. She also has a Red Smoke. This is what you should really fodder off of her. Uh, Red Smoke is... That was rare. That was used to be only on Ludger and Grimma, but now it's on her as fodder. But yeah, I wouldn't really fodder her. She's hot and she's really good. And then an Infantry Pulse team, defensively, she'll shine. Now, Fire Guidance will shine, period, in Flyer emblem teams especially for ether raids and whatnot this is super good this is kind of a game changer but yeah whoa did makoto just resub you've been <laughs> you've been ignoring me the entire time okay anyways okay let's start I'm with you. was there no not notification <laughs> what? <laughs> it literally doesn't want to give you a notification? Okay, that's funny. Alright, let's see. Have you ever, ever watched your lie in April? Yes. Uh, yes. That is very touching. I love your lie in April. Are you calling me? Iori? The girl's name. What was it again? I'll do whatever I can. Uh to see how like I guess. When you get through the story, it's just so touching. Because at the start, you just thought she was so much better than the guy. And then you realize later on why she likes him so much. 
right. And and I'm I'm not gonna talk about it, but it's it's a very good anime. I watched it while I was airing, and I could not stop watching it. Okay. It was very touching. You just ignore everybody? No, I'm not. It th there's literally no notification. Of course. That's not fair. I see. Are you calling me? Yeah. I cried. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I I too. I too shed many tears. I'll it was way it was way too much for me. Hey nymph. What? Let's talk three houses. Uh I don't I can't talk three houses. I'm <laughs> Who are you gonna marry? Um I need to first okay. know. You is there are there characters you can't marry? I'm lost. There's always well, characters you can't marry. Does it Alois and Gilbert, but that's you. because they already. I married. don't even know who they are. Okay, never mind. Of Wait, no, I, I know Gilbert. No, 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 no talking. You know Alois? Oh yeah, I know Alois. That's right. No, I don't know Alois. He's this mustache man who who talks to me on occasion and and he's weird. I no, I don't know Alois. What are you talking about? Okay, Alois was Gerald's like your, your dad. No, I know. Um, he has this dirty mustache. And he says dumb things all the time. I don't know yeah. him at all. I think he's trolling me. <laughs> yeah, you can't marry him because he's married I'll already. He it? That's a spoiler. I did not know that. How? Who, who the heck would marry this man? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not relevant. Okay. I like how you just wrote wrote him off as not relevant. But all right. No, I mean, his marriage isn't relevant. He mentioned it, like, twice. Like, I can only remember once where he mentioned it. He mentioned it twice? That sounds very relevant to me. No, yeah, I can yeah. only remember once. I just said twice, because it might be another time that I just don't remember or have or haven't <laughs> encountered. Okay, which is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, look. Okay. Are you calling? What if I wanted to marry Alois? No, I'm just, I can't even pretend there. Kill off. You can, you write a fan fiction. You kill off the of wife. You marry Alois. Okay, I'll I've already said this many times. When I fail as a as a Fire Emblem streamer or or a Gacha streamer, I will become I will become a Fe fanfic writer. You'll get the best <laughs> stuff ever, guys. Yeah, I you... want to see you write a fan fiction. <laughs> you guys, you guys aren't even ready. Do it. You a coward. I'm gonna do three houses later. But no, I. Not three houses. Write a fan fiction. No, no, I will do a fan. <laughs> Why would you want it? I will do a fan fiction. I want to see what your fan fiction would be like. It will be. It will be a masterpiece. That only yeah, I will yeah, understand. Do a, a fan fiction about Ike X Alincia, please? Oh man, that's so basic. Come on. That that's practically real. You you saw you saw Alincia. She totally wanted Ike. Okay, chat, let's brainstorm fan fiction ideas for Nims. I do not need these ideas. I have them. Okay, do tell. No, 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 it's not the time yet. We've we've talked a few times about it. I I've yeah, let it slip. Do, do buy left. I can't. I don't even know anything about Kronya. <laughs> That's the problem. I can't do three houses. I don't know enough. I ex Doctor Phil. I yeah. That's the plan after this. Don't worry. But I, but I I feel like I understand Kronya. All she wants to do is kill people. I can understand that. Yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, what, what were we talking about? I forgot now. But yeah, well, uh, the plan is to play three houses after this. I, I am trying my best. I will try my best to beat it by the end of the year. You Alm X Fade. Man, in my eyes, that might as well be, be canon. If, if a girl loves you enough, loves you to the degree of Fae, why wouldn't you love her back? It's, it's messed up. That's creepy. No. Your okay, let me ask you. What's the most important thing in love? Think, Think about that, it. Because I out okay. and I didn't hear the last part. What is the most important thing in love? Right. 
stretched out again. What? What is the most important thing in love? Did it again. Just send me a message. Well, how, how is that? No, you're you're troll. There's no way it goes out. No, I'm not trolling you. Okay. <laughs> the most important thing in love chat is devotion. Okay. Oh, devotion. Okay. Yes, that's yeah, the most important. Too much devotion is creepy. No, like, there's no is. such thing as too much devotion. I guess. Okay, we're reading the Great Gatsby in school. Yes. And like, it's yeah, creepy. Yeah. Okay, but that was written by people of a, of a bygone age. Of course, they're creepy. Uh, and this is any difference? Yeah. Uh, yes, there is a difference. They actively stalks all. Gatsby only passively does it. If anything, he's better. Look, look, here's what you don't understand about all this, okay? Fun. Stalking isn't inherently bad. It's only bad if you do something <laughs> weird with it. Uh, it's a violation of privacy? Look, it's only a violation of privacy if they know about it. And I don't think Alm knows about it. He does. Okay, did he ever raise him? Oh wait, I'm pretty sure he did. Look, sometimes... Love takes time and effort, and sometimes it has rejections. The only thing you can do at that point is to keep trying. So she's just... No! She's, no, no. <laughs> she's just doing the right thing, and you're not supportive of her at all. Creepy! <laughs> okay, well... You've only had a sock. What do you know about relationships? I've been in relationships. What do you mean, I've only had a sock? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Tell us about your relationship, then. Uh, no, because I got dumped in most of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, that's fine. That's that's how it goes. If, if you get dumped, yeah, you get okay. dumped. Of course. That's true. I mean, well, let's be clear here. You should, you should try as often as you can, because most times people don't realize it. Um, you have no idea if the person you're with is the right yeah, person. Yeah. But you'll never know if you're so scared of getting dumped. If someone clearly says no, then stop. No! Yeah. You're a girl, so you don't understand this. But <laughs> guys get rejected all the time. It takes effort. It's not, it's not easy. Unless you're hot, then everything's easy. But it's usually not that easy. But you gotta build a friendship first. No. <laughs> yeah. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard of guys getting friend zoned. Okay, but if you build a friendship, eventually it could lead into love. Or you get friend zoned. <laughs> yeah, but you can still be friends. <laughs> no, do you know how upsetting. I got friend zoned one time by this girl that I liked a long time ago. Actually, that's not completely okay. true. We we dated for a bit, and then and then and then we became friends. Yeah, okay. But here's the thing: I still liked her, um, and we yeah. used to have like she used to talk to me whenever she wanted to talk to somebody, and I would have to hear about her uh, relationships with a guy and hear about how good his dick is. Now tell me. <laughs> We're 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 clearly good friends, good enough to talk about these these things in pro like these private things. Now tell me, how enjoyable was it for me to hear about okay. this? Okay, so that probably isn't enjoyable. So like, if a girl rejects you, then you could probably get off your friendship if it hurts like a lot or whatever. But like, just no means no, and if look. Like, if you keep on going, eventually you're gonna be posted online in the story about this. Oh, this friend who did this friend who didn't accept that I said no, and you're gonna be post, posted about in the story online. Okay, I, like, in my way. like I understand. Yeah, oh, maybe you'll get the police call on you. Just stop. No, no, it should. No, no. <laughs> it should not be that bad. It should not be that bad. If if a girl is clearly not interested in you, and well, you here's the most important part. You you gotta know when to when when to call it quits. But it's no, you should not. No. You should yeah, not yeah. call it quits from the very onset of it, though. That is definitely wrong. I'll do whatever I can. I see. You can't. You can't. Like it's. Can it's that's see. not right. Wait, I think someone in chat has said that I friend zoned many gone? people. Exactly. Like, no, 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 no. Let Let me say. Okay. I've, I've only ever been asked out once, and I'm pretty sure it was as a joke. What? 
What? Oh my goodness. Chat, do you hear this? There could be some poor bozo out there who asked Lancelot out and her response was that was a joke and just laughed it off. I was like, what? And it was like, it was like in fourth grade. It was in That's fourth like grade. Do you know how innocent and how ago. soft his heart is? His mind is not even ready for this. You probably scarred him for life. No, I'm pretty sure it was a joke. Cause like, yeah. Have you seen this guy? Have you seen this guy since? Like, it was the Oreo game or whatever. I have no idea what it means. But like, what, what the fuck's Oreo? Whatever. Have you seen this guy since? I don't remember. But like, I'm I am like 99% sure it was a joke. Oh, have you seen this guy since? I don't even rem remember what he looked like or his name. I think he might be dead. Choose That's what I think. <laughs> I think what? this was a very bad idea, and you've betrayed his you you've betrayed his heart, and he couldn't handle it, and now he's gone. And in your guilt, you've erased him from your memory. That's what I think happened. I don't think that happened. I think that's what happened. I think that well, I think nobody should listen to you because it, it seems like you got somebody killed. <laughs> I didn't. I, I would say you got someone killed. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what makes you say that? You seem like the guy who would, like, get someone killed. <laughs> That's a very, uh, harsh statement to make, but you? to my knowledge, I haven't gotten anyone killed. Anyways! Ah, it's the same thing for me! No, 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 no. It's it's different for you. I, I could tell. I could, I could tell. I could feel the sadness of that that man, that little boy, who never reached adulthood because of you. I could feel it. <laughs> well, I can't confirm that, so I don't feel guilty. <laughs> You're sounding like a serial killer. Anyways, we're done at TT. No. I wouldn't be a serial killer. What do you have for breakfast? <laughs> for breakfast? Yeah, what do you have for bre breakfast? Uh, toast and eggs. It's either toast and eggs, oatmeal, or cereal. Oh! Oh, wait, oh. Oh, so how often did you, how often did you have the cereal? Uh, what do you mean? How often what do you have the cereal, Miss Cereal Killer? Tell me. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh my god, you've lost count. I had it for, you sound I like a true for... cereal killer. Do you think... Well, no, that's not true. Some cereal killers do count how many people they kill. I had like I had it for like dinner last night or the night before because my mom keeps on trying to make me eat this fried you, rice you, I don't want to eat. You even had cereal for dinner. Cereal for dinner is good. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's a TT. I thought we were supposed to talk about it, but I we I lost track of it because that's lots of cereal killer. Anyways, we're done. Let's let's play. <laughs> you. Let's play TT. Let me three houses.